This is very scary. I've never used this much blush. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hey, my name is Destiny. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We are three subscribers away from 500, so if you're new here and you have subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Today we're gonna be playing in makeup and we are gonna be trying to recreate a look that I've been seeing on TikTok for a minute. I'm gonna put the look up to the side so y'all can see, but it's so pink, it is so fun, it's giving more sort of spring. I decided to do a video on this for the girlies who actually need a tutorial on how to do it that is more in depth and spread out and not really like a one two minute video now but if you want to see how I recreated that look make sure you keep on watching <laughs> the first thing that we're gonna do is our brows I'm not gonna hold them down with gel because it looks like hers is filled in so we're gonna go in and do these brows first even before I prime I'm going to be using the benefit brow precisely my brow post this is what it look like I have mine in the shade 5 but I have to tell y'all like while I'm doing this so y'all know spring is here and I was gonna do a spring cleaning video for you, right? Spring is here, but the cleaning isn't, so I'm hoping that'll probably be my next video to put out for y'all. I've been super, super busy, so I have not been able to put that video out, but it's coming. I need to get rid of so many things, donate so many things, but I promise y'all I'm gonna have it ready soon, hopefully. Pray for me. Cause these two job things been breaking my tail. Y'all, I also have a new low-key count, not really a new setup, but, well, I have a new setup, but y'all really can't tell. So I used to use like this small little desk to do my videos on, and y'all, I finally bought me a bigger one, and I'm so, so happy. I also bought me a bigger mirror too, and I love both of these, like, I'm so happy that I bit the bullet and went ahead and just invested in myself and bought something to where I have a ton of room to do stuff on. And we're going to actually go in and conceal this. I haven't done this in a very, very long time, but we're going to go in and conceal the brows. I'm actually over here skipping steps, y'all. So I'm going to go in and prime. I'm going to use my Hydro Grip Primer right here, y'all. I'm almost out of this. Like, that's how you know this is a good product. So if you haven't did the Sephora sale yet, add this to your cart. And I'm just put it mostly here because she has a lot of concealer on. And I have texture and pores. We want all of that to be covered up. And y'all, I have a pimple and I'm missing a nail. Like my life right now is insane, but it's okay. I got that nail glue in the bathroom. We are gonna glue this thing back on until I get my nails done. Luckily that's Saturday, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty, their, their new hydrating concealer in the shade 44W. Yeah, in the shade 44W. And I'm gonna conceal the bottom of my brows. And I need to get closer. Um, Try and make this work. I'm not gonna put nothing on top y'all. I feel like it looks good without it. So we're just gonna leave the brows alone for right now, but we're gonna come back to it later. I'm gonna go in and do the eyes first. So I'm gonna go in and put some tape on the side to create a wing effect. Like that, yeah. Now make sure you go find your correct makeup tape. Me personally, I can't find it. So I'm using double sided tape. Don't talk about me. I'm gonna go in and blend all of this together. I'm even gonna blend this, y'all, just so nothing will look out of place. And then I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise Rumor 5 base right here, y'all. I got the big one, and I'm gonna use this because I spent my money on it. But yeah, I need to get back into doing eyeshadow looks. Like, I really been slacking. How have y'all week been so far? It's only Monday, actually, here. Um, when it's going out, of course, y'all already know it'll be Wednesday. So how, let me know in the comments how your week has been going. Also, I will have everything listed below in the comments as well. But let me know in the comments, like, if you having a good week, a bad week, like, like what's going on? Talk to me. Cause I want y'all to talk to me sometimes. Y'all really try to be ignoring me. 
and I don't like that. I'm going to be starting off with my ColourPop palette and I'm going to be using the shade Spice Rums right here and put this all over my crease y'all. Next, I'm gonna go in and put Cozy Vibes right here and my crease to deepen it a little bit. And I'm just gonna take this little angle brush. It's kind of, well, a flat brush. It's only because I have hooded eyes and I wanna control the placement. Like, you see that? Like, it's controlled. Then now I'm gonna go in with my, I don't even remember what type of palette this is, y'all. Nikki Tutorials palette about like a couple of years ago and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called basic basic truth which is this one and put it all over my lid because it's giving me like a pink tone okay I think I'm gonna take ColourPop marshmallow me right here and put it on top of this So the eyes are done. I think this is close enough, y'all. I did not do a wing because I don't know how to do a wing. So that's what the tape was for to give it the like wing out effect. But yeah, these are the eyes. I might go back in and put like some more like pink shimmer on the lid because I feel like it's kind of neutral, but it is what it is. So I got rid of all the makeup that was on my face right here. So I'm gonna go in and reprime again and let it sit for a moment. Since her under eye is so bright, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. putty eye corrector right here and put it up under my eye because I have a little bit of dark circles. Like if you can see the difference, like this is way more brighter than this. So this is just acting as a good coverage. So I'm gonna go in and take my finger and just dab, make sure all of it is set. I got my Smashbox right here in the shade D10. Oh, then I got the Max Studio Fix Foundation right here in the shade NW47. I'm going to mix the two together because this is olive and this is too, too warm. So hopefully if I mix them, they will come out to like a decent shade. And I'm going to focus this more so on the outside of my face, not really the middle. Next, we're going to take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 44W again, and we're going to put it here. Just tapping motion so it won't spread too, too far. Next, we're gonna go in with the MAC concealer right here. This was in the shade NC45. And we're gonna go in and this is gonna be our highlighting shade. I'm gonna let that sit while I go in and I do my contour or my bronzer, whichever you wanna call it. But I'm gonna go in with my Sephora collection. Concealer right here in the shade Devil's Food. Just stippling it up. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and blend out this concealer. Next one I'm gonna go with a blush. I have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Blush and I also have the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This one is more pinky than this one. I might mix the two simply because I haven't used one like this in a very, very long time. Like, I don't even think they're showing up. This is a waste of product. Yeah, I'm wasting my time. Like, it showed up a little bit, but this ain't doing nothing for me. So we're just gonna go in with this one. This was in the shade uh, Coral Crush. I wish I had the pinky pinky shade, but this is gonna have to do, cause it's quote unquote still pink, so. Apply 
like who i'm gonna put some up in there this is very scary i've never used this much blush should i do more i'm kind of scared too uh no we're not just a tad bit more a tad more y'all because but i don't look like a clown so i'm gonna do one dot on each side because i like a clown what but let's set this face before yeah where where's my stuff where's my stuff okay so we're gonna use the fenty beauty setting powder and hazelnut Now for the bake, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Setting Powder in the shade Go. Why I do that? But I'm using my Juvia's Place Setting Powder in the shade Goby. Y'all already know about this. And I'm gonna take my little powder puff. If I can get to it, here we go. While that is setting, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer right here in the shade Mocha Mommy. And I'm gonna go over this where my contour is at. But I'm not trying to cover up that pink. So I'm like going like under it and around it to give it that chiseled look a little bit more. Next, I'm going over my blush with the one size trio. Y'all already know, and I'm gonna take this blush right here. I'm hoping this blush pinks it out more because, oh, yes, yes, oh my gosh. Ooh. I did not put any concealer down my nose. It's okay though, it's not that big of a deal. So everything is basically about done y'all i'm gonna go we're gonna let's finish off the brows actually so i'm gonna go back in with my pencils let me redefine everything yeah making sure nothing is out of order and i'm gonna go in and redefine them there we go Now I'm just drawing small little hairs in the front. Now I'm gonna take my brush and I was just tapping the excess. She has a little bit of highlight on her nose. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty highlight right here. And I'm gonna use the pink one, of course, and I'm gonna take this one. She doesn't have anything in her waterline, but I'm gonna use this nude pencil right here from MAC. It is the shade Risqué, just so I can open up my waterline and let it look, my eyes look opened. And then I'm going in with my mascara. This is the one from All May. It's the Length and Lift Mascara. I'm just gonna put this on the bottom lashes. All right, so I went in and added a little bit more individual because I was missing so many and I wanted this look to look good. So this is what the face look like. Of course, everything is almost done. Now I'm gonna do the lip. Now for her lip, it is, hold on, let me check. It's like this nude pinkish lip. I got the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Next, I'm gonna go in with, I actually got a pink. Hold on, I got a pink. That's not pink enough. So I found my pink, it's this shade right here. This one is in the shade Pink Plaid, Plaid. Pink Plaid. It's a matte, so it looks like she should keep it in the center of her lip. I might need to invest in more lip glosses and lipsticks. I don't know, but 
this is what the lips looking like right now and then i'm gonna go on top with a gloss i'm gonna use my elf gloss right here in the shade i don't know what shade is this coral fixation yeah all right y'all so this is the finished look i actually love how this makeup look turned out i've never really used this much pink blush before but it is cute right like it is cute like the makeup is eating y'all but i hope you all enjoyed this video let me know in the comments you know what you think about the makeup and like i said all the products will be listed down below in the description but yeah y'all so i hope y'all have a great rest of your week once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe like i said we are three subscribers away so help your girl out we are almost at 500 y'all so Thank you for everyone who's been supporting me. Thank you for the people who are watching my videos but aren't subscribing. I still want to thank you for even watching my videos. But anyways, y'all, I will see you on the next one. And I hope y'all have a great week again. Bye!